Hi, this is Alex from Lone Rider and today we're taking a look at how to retrofit the permanent attachment system to your motorbikes. Stay tuned. Now even though our quick release system can be adjusted to fit most tubular shaped racks on the market, there are still a few racks that simply aren't compatible with it. Retrofitting the permanent puck system is a quite simple process that takes around 30 minutes to 1 hour to complete for one set of motorbikes. Start by removing the inner board by undoing the two velcro flaps at the top. Then remove the top fixing plate and the two corner plates by unscrewing the 12 screws either by hand with the supply tool or with a power drill like I'm doing here. Undo the two straps at the bottom and remove the back plate from the Hypalon bag. As a final step to uninstall the quick release system, remove the rack bumpers, the rack hooks and finally the locking latch. Once done, reinstall the back plate to the Hypalon bag, starting with the two straps followed by the corner plates and finally the top fixing plate. Your backplate is now ready to have the permanent puck system installed. The permanent attachment system consists of four pucks for each motor bag and a total of two offset brackets. The offset brackets are only to be used if you have an angled rack, which I'll show you in a minute. To install the pucks to your backplate, first make a visual inspection of which slots that are most suitable for your specific racks. This is easiest done when your racks are installed on your bike so that you can check the clearance to your luggage rack and the passenger foot pegs. Once done, pre-assemble the pucks like shown on the picture and slide them into the correct slots. Then tighten the nuts by hand to a point where they are loose enough for the puck to be able to move for adjustments. Repeat this step with all four pucks. When you're finished, check and adjust the position of the pucks to have an exact fit to your pannier rack. For the sake of this video, I have removed the rack from my bike so that you can easier see what I mean. Once the position of all four pucks is correct, tighten all nuts and install the motor bag to your pannier rack. Secure it with the C-shaped clamps using two lock nuts each.
case you have an offset rack like this one, you'll have to use the two supplied offset brackets. Start by checking the alignment and then install the two bottom pucks like before. Assemble your offset brackets like shown on the picture and slide them into the correct slots. Make sure you use the shorter screws for this. Fine tune the position of the bottom pucks and secure them to the back plate. To fine tune the position of the offset brackets, first fit the rack and secure it with the two C shaped clamps to the bottom pucks. Then adjust the height of the offset bracket and tighten the screws. Slide an alignment washer in between the offset bracket and your pannier rack. Then install the longer screws, followed by a split lock washer and a regular nut each. Make sure you don't use the lock nuts here, as these are dedicated for the C-shaped clamps. Finish off by installing the C-shaped clamps and secure them with two lock nuts each. And that's how easy it is to convert the motor bags from quick release to the permanent puck system. I hope you liked this video and that you found it useful. For more in-depth details and exploded views, I'll left a link to the user manual down below. Until next time guys, ride safe!